Hey guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back to yet another Team of the Season player review. Now today we're going to be looking at the 85 rated Team of the Season version of Thierry Henry. Now when it comes to Team of the Season Henry, um, I was really excited to use this card because he had a blue card in FIFA 12 and I thoroughly enjoyed that card. Exactly the same last year guys with FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, he had another blue card and I thoroughly enjoyed using that card. Now, is it the same story with this year? Now let me go through some of his in-game stats just to give you an idea on what they are like he's got 91 on the ball control 92 curve 90 finishing 89 short pass and 85 shot power his physical attributes are half decent when you consider that he is in his mid 30s guys he's got 84 acceleration 80 sprint speed 93 reactions and 91 on the agility and when it comes to his mental attributes guys the only stat you're going to be looking at is his 80 attack positioning now how did he perform for me on the pitch well unfortunately guys he turned out to be a monumental disappointment for me i mean he, he was one of the worst strikers that i have ever used he really was that bad and that's something that i did not want to say about this card because not only is it thierry henry but it's an awesome looking card and with stats like he has you don't you expect a a very very good player now let me go through his pluses and minuses guys just to give you an idea on how he played for me he's got good pace guys 80 pace on the card he felt slightly quicker than that for me he outpaced a lot of defenders that i expected him to get caught up by so that was a big plus for me uh, he's decent in the air guys his heading stat is somewhere in the mid 70s but it felt like it was somewhere in the mid 80s seriously guys he is very 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 uh very good when it comes to aerial ability his dribbling and ball control is very good he's got 87 dribbling on the cards so you can only expect his dribbling and ball control to be very 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 good and that's that is uh, that's exactly the story it is very very good and his passing was very good for me as well now he is a striker and passing is not something that I expect to use in a striker but he done the job very very well for me and if you some for some reason need passing in your strikers uh, then this guy is definitely capable of doing the job for you now that's pretty much all the pluses that I found with this card. Everything else for me turned out to be a weakness. His strength is horrible. He gets out-muscled by nearly every uh, defender that tries to take the ball off him. You would think that he had decent strength going by his in-game stats, but he was just horrible. Horribly, horribly, horribly weak, guys, and he was just out-muscled by absolutely everyone. Uh, what else is there? Long shots with him are terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think this is one of the main reasons why I dislike this card so much, because because his long shots were horribly bad and one of the main reasons for that is is because his shot power is terrible 85 shot power in game but his shot power felt like it was in the 60s sometimes even less than that you know I was just inside the box I would put four bars of power in it and the keeper didn't have to do anything you know he just had to move his arm and he would save it he had hardly any shot power behind the shots that he made for me and that made me hate him at times and while I was doing the reviews and scoring the goals it it really really did turn out to be a problem for me what else is there? He never makes the runs and his positioning is really, really bad. Now, medium attacking work rate, low defensive. I don't expect a player to always be in the position that I need him to be in, guys. But I expect him to make the runs at times. But Thierry Henry's team of the season card for me, he was never, guys, never in the position that I needed him to be in. And he never, never made the run that I needed him to make. You know, if he made the run that I needed him to make, he would have scored so many more goals for me. But he just didn't do them. He's a sort of player where you have to manually make the run you know pass the ball to the player and then either l1x i think it is on playstation or lba pass to a different player so that he will manually run after making the pass that's the only way that the team of the season on re made the run for me uh, his finishing was really bad as well in the box i put one bar of power and he hits it wide i put two bars of power he hits it five miles in the air his finishing was really really bad for me um and his weak foot was really bad as well he's got the four star skills and four star weak foot but it felt like a one star it re he really did fail for me when it came to using his weak foot guys so is he worth it honestly in my personal opinion i've got to say no this card turned out to be one of the worst cards that i've ever used in ultimate team he is such a waste of coins if you need a striker for the mls then you can go for the silver eddie johnson you can go for the blue uh jermaine defoe you can go for the blue obafemi martins you could go for a load of other options guys but in my opinion i 
I've given it the team of the season Henri a 7 out of 10. I didn't want to go too low because it is the legend Thierry Henri and I didn't want to give him too low rating but 7 was the highest I could go guys. He really really did perform bad for me and he's the sort of player where you know I was playing the games and after about 4 or 5 games I just wanted the review to be over. I just kept playing games thinking to myself right I need to score these goals so that I can stop using this card. That's how much I disliked him. In my opinion he is not worth it um, and that's going to wrap up this review guys. I'm sorry to say that he isn't worth it for all of you that were expecting a good review but it's my per personal opinion. I'm always 100% with you guys. If an awesome player, uh, a player that is known to be awesome in the game performs bad for me then I will say he performs bad. You can expect the truth from me guys and team of the season Henri really really did perform bad for me guys and that's going to wrap up this team of the season on re-review if it did help you decide whether or not to buy him a like is always greatly appreciated please subscribe for more reviews to come in the future and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys